Let's go see some squash. Okay, so here are the ingredients for our stewed summer squash and sausage. So I have about a pound and a half of kielbasa that I've sliced up into chunks. I have a handful of rinsed and chopped up fresh parsley. I have some olive oil. I have about a pound of uh, yellow potatoes that I've cut into large chunks. So these are medium to small potatoes that I cut, I quartered actually. And I have some chunks of uh, summer squash, yellow crookneck squash, and some zucchini. And I've cut those into large chunks and I tried to keep them approximately the same size so that they'll cook evenly. Here I have some pickled serrano peppers and some green chilies that I had left over from an earlier chili recipe that I did and I'm going to chop up a couple of the serranos and use the green chili. I have a half of a large bell pepper. I have five or six cloves of garlic that I sliced up. I have one large uh, yellow onion that I've uh, roughly chopped. I have a 28 count of, of Fermano's chunky crushed tomatoes. I really like the Fermano's brand. Um, tastes really good. This is the garlic, basil, and oregano um, kind of crushed tomatoes. I have some, and I'm not going to use all 28 ounces of that. Probably use half of it. I have some leftover Parmesan cheese that I grated up earlier and I needed to use that up. I have some black pepper, some salt, and some chicken broth. So let's go ahead and start putting together this uh, stewed squash and sausage. Okay, so I have my cast iron Dutch oven on the stove on medium high heat. And the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to add my sausage to the pot and I'm going to let it brown. Uh, let it get brown and that should take about three or four minutes okay so my sausage has started to brown and i'm going to turn my heat down to medium and i'm going to add my onions and i'm going to let this cook until my onions become translucent that should take about three or four maybe five minutes at the most onions um have become translucent and it's been about four or five minutes and I just threw in my garlic that I sliced up and I'm gonna stir this around for about a half a minute to a minute. So now I'm adding uh, three of those serrano peppers that I showed you the pickled serrano peppers and a little bit of the green chili mixture. And I've got this 28 can of 28 ounce can of chunky crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna use about half of this, so about 14 um, ounces, or you could buy a 15 and a half ounce can, but this is what I had. And I'm gonna stir this around, and I'm going to add, I have a 32 ounce can, uh, not can, I have a 32 ounce carton of chicken broth, and I'm gonna add approximately half of this. You know what? No, I think I need to add the whole thing. I'm adding the whole thing. So I'm adding 32 ounces. I take that back. I'm adding 32 ounces of the chicken broth. Okay, you know what, guys? My forgetful nature has taken over. I showed you uh, the bell pepper, the half bell pepper that I had at the very beginning. I meant to saute that out with my onions and just forgot it, but you know, it's only food as Chef John Polite says. So we're gonna just throw that in there and it'll soften up as it simmers. It's not a crime. It's not a crime at all. It'll still be good. All right, now I'm going to add my potatoes, my chunks of potatoes. Okay, my potatoes are all in, so I'm gonna add my squash now. Okay, so I've got uh, my potatoes and my squash in the pot, and this, the pot is pretty full. I probably could have used a larger pot. This is a five quart Dutch oven. I do think that for stewing, I need a little bit more um, liquid, so I'm just gonna push the limit here. And this is gonna cook uncovered, so I'm not really worried about it too much. But I am gonna watch the liquid level. If it gets low, I'll add more. So I just added about another half cup of, um, of um, chicken broth, and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper to taste. And then I am going to, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna turn the heat up, and I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer, then I'm gonna turn the heat down once it gets to a nice rolling simmer to about medium, and I'm gonna let it cook uncovered until my potatoes and my squash are tender. Now your squash is gonna be really tender, and that's what you want in this recipe, and you want your potatoes to be fork tender. So um, 
adding some salt and pepper to taste, letting it come to a simmer, turning it down, letting it simmer for about 30, 35 minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> so it's been a total of like 40 minutes, and this, the potatoes are perfectly cooked. The squash is soft, but it's not falling apart. It's perfect. I am going to throw in some parsley and I'm going to stir it around in there and then I'm going to just let it sit for a few minutes and serve it up with some freshly grated or not freshly grated but some parmesan cheese that I grated a few days ago and we'll be back okay so here we have our final cook um our wonderful stewed summer squash with sausage it does look amazing i say that all the time but <laughs> i really work hard at trying to make it look amazing so it does it looks amazing let's taste the potatoes are perfectly tender the squash is wonderful let me get it all spooned up here so I've got potatoes and squash and sausage on a um, fork all together here with some lovely broth. Mmm. Wow. Delish. Totally delish. Got a tiny bit of kick. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. All the flavors work together so well. It's not too spicy. If you're not into spicy, it's not too spicy. It's just got a kick. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is like the perfect summer stew. This is the way to use up all of that summer squash that you're going to have in your garden or that you're going to get from friends and neighbors. Please try this recipe. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. I love you guys. Bye-bye.